Hey, what's up guys? Tech Time here and I am back again with a brand new video. So before I begin this video, as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content, leave a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. I do greatly appreciate the support. So without further ado, okay. And also follow me on my Instagram page. I'll leave it linked below and I'll follow you, I'll, I will follow you back. Giveaways and latest updates will be on there. So follow me there um, to see some cool stuff. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So today, like I said in my unboxing video of this phone, the Coolpad Legacy, I will be doing a camera review. And I think I, I think I have enough pictures. And I've tested the camera long enough to tell you whether the pictures are good enough or not. Let's start with the specs of the camera. So this camera on the back, the main camera is a 16 megapixel sensor paired with a 5 megapixel sensor. And the 5 megapixel sensor is used for only portrait mode. And I'll discuss that a little bit further. Now as far as front facing camera, this is a 13 megapixel sensor selfie camera. And yeah. So how do we get to the camera? So either from the lock screen you just swipe and it will launch the camera or if you want from the home screen you can just tap the camera and it will launch the camera app. And you can also double tap the power button just like you could on Pixel devices to launch the camera so something like this and it launches it pretty quick and I think that's really the most convenient way from me. As far as modes and the camera, as far as the camera interface, it's pretty simplistic and straight to the point. I like it. It's almost stock, to be honest. So you have your settings toggle up top, and it gives you a couple of options. You have your, uh, you have your geotag shutter. Uh, you have your shutter sound, AI mode, assistive grid, uh, back camera resolution, so you can play with the resolution. You have uh, four by three or sixteen by nine at eight megapixel. You also have your front facing your front facing camera resolution. You can play with that again, 4x3 and 16x9 at, meg, at a 8 megapixel. And your main camera video, you have 1080p and maxes out at 1080p 30 frames per second, as well as 720p front facing 1080p or 720p. So you also have your HDR, your timer, your flash, your different filters, so you can mess with mess around with that. Oh, so you can mess around with the filters as well as slow motion and panorama i wouldn't play with this all I, I would not personally play with a slow motion it's not really that good it's kind of choppy and i wouldn't i just personally would not use it at all as far as the bottom settings go you have your video you can change your interface between video photo portrait uh, and even night shot night shot eh, this one does not perform good at, uh, at at night time but it's there if you need it so let's start with the selfie camera itself the, the selfie camera on here actually kind of impressed me i did not expect it to be uh this good i'm not saying it's the best but at the same time it retains a lot of the sky so dynamic range on here is pretty decent now this was a well lit condition so it performed very well however it does soften the image just a little bit but not as harsh as other pictures so overall the selfie camera it gets a thumbs up from me i'm impressed um, as far as the main camera goes, when it comes to color, so for example in this picture, so it captured the color green really good. Now one problem that I do have about this camera and that goes for all the pictures that I took is that I wish, I wish it was just, I wish that the picture was just a little bit brighter, just a tad bit. I think it would have made it a little bit better. Now like I said, it's not going to rival Pixel 3 quality, iPhone XS, Galaxy S10 keep your expectations at a minimum however when it comes to posting these pictures on social media it will definitely do you justice now this picture like i said for example the greens are green i like that um again these were in well lit conditions the colors are good the brightness again i wish it was just a little bit brighter the shadows are good so it doesn't really shoot for a natural look so this one i just want to test out the shadows and how well it can focus on all these leaves and it did actually a pretty decent job i'm not I'm, I'm genuinely impressed with this camera it's not it's not bad not bad at all so again testing the shadows now i wish it was a little bit again brighter on areas where there's more shadow but that's just me nitpicking at this point honestly um to the average consumer i don't think um you guys should have any problem at all when it comes to this camera so the next picture comes with uh, i just want to test out again colors and like i said in well lit condition this camera performs well so the blues are blue again just a little bit brighter that's just my only complaint and this picture i just want to test out the focus and it does it does miss focus just a little bit but nothing too major again at this point this camera is actually really good it impressed me and i'm just trying to find something to say that is a con i'm just trying to be a nitpicking person so yeah 
um, because no camera is perfect. So it missed focus a little bit, but other than that, it was really good. And the dynamic range on here actually is kind of poor. So you see the background is just really bright white. It didn't really retain any, um, any information from the background like the street. Okay. Hey, what's up guys? Tech Tyron here and I am back again. And this is just a quick test recording of the video quality on the Coolpad Legacy. So this is just a quick microphone test to see how it sounds in outdoor conditions. Hope you guys hear me clearly. Uh, I'm about to check it out, see what the quality is about. But yeah, that's it. I'm out. Okay, so as you guys listen, that microphone is rough and the image quality in the video is is a no-go. So I guess the video is really this uh, this uh, camera's biggest down point. And this is just a test of the dynamic range. The sky um, is pretty good, but the 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 if you look at the trees then i wish that there was just a little bit more light on the trees so you can see the leaves and the trees will just be a little bit more clearer if you know what i mean so the portrait mode when it comes to still subjects with specific shape then it will be decent it will not gonna it's not gonna be perfect um but it's definitely gonna be decent now when it comes to shapes like hair where it has to retain a lot of where it has to capture really a lot of information it's not gonna do well um, that's just what it is, but other other than that, I'm kind of actually again This phone actually impressed me when it comes to image quality and even the portrait mode I thought it was gonna be trash. It's actually kind of usable and yeah I mean that's really the story behind the camera on this phone. It's a pretty good video. It's a pretty good camera I'm actually impressed definitely I'll put it in the definitely top five when it comes to budget smartphone cameras So yeah, uh, I want to end it here. This was just a camera test like I said I will do and yeah, let me end it here. Put the phone down. I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.